how to find more family history and get more from your family history research. Well, welcome back to Epic Genealogy, and I'm going to do kind of a deep dive here. I don't know what the outcome is going to be, but chances are, hey, if you're watching this video, it was pretty good. So I want to go through something that I'm doing right now on Ancestry. And so when I started seeing something, I was like, I got I to gotta record this because this might be actually really cool. So where it starts is I start right, let me get this in, in view for you to see. Uh, this is actually the Adi de Morti, which is a civil death record for Carini Sicilia. And I am looking for some things in particular, and I uh, haven't found yet. So I'm up to night. I'm just at the end of 1926. And I come across this Giuseppe Scavo, 77 years old. Of course, we go over here. Uh, his father is uh, Andre, and his mother is Rosaria Palazzolo. And his wife, this is what... This is what stood out and why I, I I really want not want to find more about this. The wife, as you can see, is Angela Buzetta. And that's a very big family in Mia Familia. So I was able to plug in the information and I know I got the right guy. And it says that there's two hints. This guy's born in 1849. I, what, what, what can you possibly have, right? Well, really interesting, this comes up. The 1920 United States Census. Now, I know he died in 1926, and he was in Carini. So he, if he was living in Philadelphia, and I know a lot of Carini familia, a lot of people from Carini did immigrate to Philly. We, uh, so when you start doing research, you want to really look at, especially with immigrants, look at the places that they initially immigrated to. So we've got four. We've got Brooklyn, Philly, Cleveland, and Detroit. Take him to Detroit. No! No, not Detroit! No! No! These were the four big ones for Canini. Now, obviously, there's some outliers there. There's the Bronx with Phil Filippo Zimbardo uh, and his grandson, Philip Zimbardo, which I did a video on with famous Sicilians. Uh, I know you probably haven't seen it, so definitely uh, check that out. A lot of really cool information there. And actually, that was a spoiler. This shows he's living in Philly. He died in 1926. Probably not a good chance that this is my guy. But this is why I'm doing a video. So this is really cool. So I open up this census record. We can see here, we got, now Giuseppe, the most common Italian Sicilian name. But Angela? But Angela, not so much. So it's usually a good thing when we have an Angela because it's not going to be, it's, it's not that common. Okay, so this is what, this is what I always suggest that you do. Don't look at just the people that you find. So you find your family, you think this is your family, you got to look at everything else. There's a lot of information on these records, and so we want to go through the whole record. Just take a few minutes. Chances are, yeah, yeah there's a chance that there's nothing on there that's going to help. But you still have some context, because when you go down here, it tells you where they're from and where their parents are from, but it also, on a census record, and we'll go down here. It tells you what they did. So you can see uh, where they worked. So uh, this, so Giuseppe Scavo worked at a cigar shop. He was a laborer. And uh, it, so you get some more context about your family. So it fills in some of the details there. Just as important, you know, and it tells you here uh, when, they, when, they, uh, when they came to the United States, when they immigrated. At least one of the times they, they came over, because it could be multiple times. But you look at the other names, which I've mentioned many times. You look at the other names. So here we've got Ignacio Musso, because they are the mother and father-in-law, if this is the right one. I don't know yet. Musso is absolutely a Carini name, very common in Carini. Even more common, we've got Balsamo. Okay, so we, we blow it up. we got Vincenzo Balsamo, and he came over. It's not actually listed when he came over. But they are naturalized, so there's probably a record of that. And that'll say where they immigrated from. Luigi Spina, yeah, that's a Canini name. Not too common. And then we have Antonio Maroni. Now, the most famous Maroni, of course, is Roman Maroni. You lousy corksuckers. You have violated my Fargan rights. This summon on Baching country was founded so that the liberties of common patriotic citizens like me could not be taken away 
by a bunch of Fargan ice holes like yourselves. Thank you very much. Probably no relation to a fictional character, but still one of the greatest characters in modern comedy history. Thank you very much. So we see Rossi Mayo. Yeah. And then there's a big one, Pagano. John or Giovanni Pagano and his wife is Carrie. We also come down here. It's usually low Presti, but Presti is still Gaetano or Presti. So the first thing I got to figure out is, is this Joseph Scavo? Is he my guy? And Angela, is this Giuseppe Scavo and Angela Buzetta from Carini? I don't know yet. We do know that he died at 77 years old. And in 1920, he died in 1926, he was 77 years old, and here, what we can see is that, yes, he is age 70, so it is age appropriate. I'm a little disturbed to see that Angela was 50. 20-year age difference. Uh, wow. Not aware of that. So... Which, unfortunate, I was not able to get Angela's... I don't have a baptism record or a birth record for Angela. Uh, so I don't know if that's... Uh, uh, that's kind of disturbing. So we could go into... And, of course, thanks to James Bianco and his team, I have this database, this Excel, with marriage records going back to the 1500s. It's all been digitized it's all been uh you know indexed if you will so i had the marriage date they were married in 1884 that's why i estimated angela's birth date at 1850 apparently that's just not the case uh she was born in 1870 oh my gosh wow she was 14 14 when she got married oh my god why why wasn't expecting wasn't expecting to get something like that i did a video a few weeks ago <laughs> regarding that where, where uh <laughs> avita ruffino was 14. now i've got angela buzetta 14 years old because she was 50 in 1920 she was born in 1870. wow i unfortunately have to change 1850 to 1870. Now, I know that Giuseppe was born in 1849. I have a birth record for him. So, he was 34. She was 14. No! Hey, something really unexpected in family history. I don't like seeing this. This is vile. This is horrible. Child marriages, unfortunately, are still a thing. So, I didn't expect that. So, even if these other people, I don't even have the right one, I'll probably have to do this video, provide, you know, I'm probably, I'm going to have to post this video because this was something pretty disturbing that I, I found. So hopefully, as far as the uh, disturbing content, that is going to be the last of it. All right, so now I got to go about finding out if, in fact, I have the right ones. Is it the same Giuseppe Scavo and Angela Buzetta who are from Carini? What I'm going to do, so let's get into that. Okay, so what I do know here, and this is, gives you some information to start with, to at least check the Cadini records, I have an Ignacio Musso. No, it wasn't me, it was Ignacio, he's the one! Not a common name at all, and uh, I have his age. He's 38, she's 28. What? What? What is... What is happening here? Hopefully she was older than 14 when they got married. Hopefully. Probably. A lot of times in the census records, they'll tell you what the age was when they got married. So she's got a four and a half year old son, Julio. She was 24 when she had a first, as far as I know, the, the oldest surviving. So that's going a long way. So what I want to do initially is I'm going to look in the Canini records and I'm going to look for Ignacio Musso. So I'm going to go down. All right, so down here, I do have an Ignacio Musso. This is really important. So remember the naming pattern, because this, I, I think I've got the right guy here. The naming pattern in Europe was to name the children after the grandparents. So knowing this 
it really helps us narrow down. Uh, you know, that we have the right... I mean, Ignacio, I mean, come on. Father's name is Julio, the mother is Crucifisa, uh, and he's born on 19 June 1881. I actually have a copy of his baptism record. So this is his baptism record. Father is, of course, Julio. So knowing that his name is Julio, let's go back at the census records. We know they had children. And yes, uh, Julio is the first Born. He's the he's older. He's four and a half. But the baby's name is Joseph, which is named after obviously. It, again, we don't know if it's the right one, but we do know. I'm pretty certain that the fact that we have an Ignacio Musso, and he was already on my tree. Whoa, we blow it up. So the father's name is Julio. Not a common name. I mean, at all. So he's. Born in 1881, and he's 38. The age matches up. I think I'm pretty certain we got the right ones. We do also know that Joseph and Angela have a daughter named Rosaria, who's, of course, named for her grandmother, Rosaria Palazzolo, who we saw on the death record right there. So Rosaria is born in 1890, and I don't have a wedding date there. So she's born in 1890. Would, does that give her the right age? Oh, so Rosario is born in 1890. Is she the right age here? She is 28 in 1920. Yes, that, that lines up maybe maybe a, a year off, but we don't know about the birthday. And she is, so she is 10 year, about 10 years younger. Again, we don't know, you know, we got to go by the birthday and the date of the U.S. Census. So I'm pretty certain that yes. These are the right people. This is the same family. So that is cool. That, they are from Cadini. Uh, so apparently Giuseppe Scavo uh, did go back. And he, I, I, you know, he obviously he passed away in Cadini. Uh, uh, Ventanove, uh, he, uh, the 29th of December, 1926. So he did go back. So this is one family. All right. So we've got, well, yeah, we got one family that definitely we can confirm all from Canini. Let's go and now I have to check out for it to be a little more work here. So we've got Vincenzo and uh, Maria. He's 27 years old. It's 1920. So he was born about 1892, 1893. So I'm going to look in the Vincenzo for a baptism record for Vincenzo Balsamo, married to a Maria. They look to be but they don't have any children here, so they're probably uh, only, you know, married, to, they're not married too long. I can't get over the 70 and 50. I mean, my gosh, 14 years old, 34 years old and 14. So about 1893, 1892, do we have a Vincenzo? We have one for 1893 and 1895. So that will take a little bit more work. Vincenzo Balsamo, not on my tree, Vincenzo and Maria. So I'm going to have to do a search to find them. And this is going to be them on the 1920 census, which we already have. Maria is 24. She's about 1896. Uh, wow, I, we may have lucked out. We have a find a grave. It does have a bio. So let's check that out. That looks terrible. So we get some information from an obituary, which is really cool. Chiavo. So the age is right, but still not nearly enough information to know for sure. So I found this. World War I Veteran Service Compensation, and it is dated June 1st, 1934. This has his uh, street address, so we can see if we have the right one. It looks like Carpenter Street. Carpenter Street. And Pardonico. So we struck out here, but Pardonico is really close to Carini. It's right next door. So, um, all right, so it is the Palermo area, so we can confirm, not on my tree, not related, not from Cananey. All right, all right, it's still the, Pal it's the Palermo area. Okay, uh, so that, that, we can cross that one off. Okay, so, so Vincenzo Maria, Pardonico, still pretty cool. Uh, let's go down the line over here. We've got the Spina family, Luigi and Carmela. Uh, Luigi is, Luigi is 45, he came over in 1901. It's a little early for Carini, but still could be. 1905, uh, they don't have naturalization. That record's in yet. 
But we've got a brother-in-law, so this is uh, probably a Carmella Maroney. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to look up for Luigi uh, Spina. First to check if he's on the tree. He is not on my tree. Okay. So we want to go through, let's look at the baptism records. Wow. Not too many people here. Uh, not too many Spinas. Not a very big cut any name. We got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 17. 17 in, in, in almost 100 years. So not a big cut any name. Chances are Luigi Spina also not from Canini, but we have to do a search to know for sure. Just because there's not a baptism record doesn't mean there's not a civil record. All right, we're going to do our search. Let's see what comes up. Of course, the 1920 census. We have a passport. Yeah, these are always good, and they tend to have a picture on them. So we have a picture, not a very good picture, but how cool is that? We saw him on the census, and then we get to see... Sort of what he looked like. Let's see, what, what, what did Luigi do for a living? Check here. He was a blacksmith. So this guy, yeah, a blacksmith. Cool. But he's not our guy. He is from Italy. All right, so we've got Giovanni Pagano. He's in Messina. All right, so... We still pretty interesting information that we were able to find out. We're still able to show that uh, Ignacio Musso and the Giuseppe Scavo are related. They're from Carini. Uh, they are distantly related to me. Um, Balsamo not, Spina, uh, the most, you know, they, but, but a lot of them from Palermo and, of course, in Pagano, which we just saw, is from Messina, which is the eastern end of Sicily. So this was definitely a Sicilian neighborhood. No, no question about that. What really sucks, and I did not expect, again, I, I just want to see if they were all from Carini uh, and possibly related. I didn't want to see another child marriage, but here we are. Uh, there's no getting, <laughs> there's no getting around, uh, and let, you know, he's 50 years old here, so that sucks. But we all also are able to find out some really cool information and get a picture of someone here on the census, and we know what they did for a living. So, for example, Ignacio worked for the railroad, and um, and then we know that Giuseppe Scavo went back to the went back home to Carini, where he passed away. On the event in Ove, uh, December of 1926. So that's how we find more information, more context about our family, getting a lot more out of our family history research. And th th there's just no getting around it. We're going to find and continue, I'm going to continue to find disturbing things like this where we have another child marriage. 14 year olds should not be getting married. And if they're going to get married, at least to another 14 year old or a 15 year old or a 16 year old, certainly not to a 34 year old man. I, 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 yeah, it shouldn't be. But hey, thanks for watching. It wasn't exactly what I expected. But yeah, you don't always get what you're expecting when you're doing family history. And it's still always very interesting and fun to do, even if we've got to get something like that. So hey, thanks for watching and you know what to do now. Now go home and get your fucking shine box. Mm -hmm.